narrow strip of land separating South and Central America is a very popular and very dangerous passage. As CNN's Rafael Romo shows us, the number of migrants daring to cross the notorious Darien Gap is soaring, particularly the number of children. This Venezuelan family of five is safe for now. Before arriving to a shelter in the Panamanian capital, they crossed the perilous Darien Gap, a jungle region connecting Colombia with Panama to escape the financial crisis in their home country. The mother is pregnant and all three of their children are younger than eight. The father, the only man in the group, says they thought they were doing fine in the beginning. Apart from cliffs and all that, we were kind of calm, he said, until we started seeing dead bodies. His son wanted to share with us some of the horrible things he saw. It was terrible, he said. We found six dead bodies. The deadly dangers his family saw are nothing new at the Darien Gap, as many migrants have also reported seeing or being victim to homicides, robberies and sexual violence along the route. What's new is the fact that more and more families with children seem to be risking it all for the American dream. According to UNICEF, nearly 46,000 migrants crossed into Panama in the first two months of 2023. Of those, 9,656 were minors, a figure that is seven times higher than the one observed in the same period last year. In 2022, more than 570 pregnant women like Angrela Jimenez also enter Panamanian territory through the Darien Gap, facing risks that are compounded by the fact that they are expecting. I fell, she says. I'm not kidding you. I fell like four times and rolled down hills. The Darien Gap has caught the attention of U.S. immigration authorities. I wanted to be there. I wanted to be and to see the Colombian and Panamanian border because we had seen that and heard that there was a lot of different types of populations coming through there, coming through the uh, Darien jungle up to the southern border of, Mex of Mexico and then the United States. Uh, this is a challenge that we have to solve together. Last year, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken led a delegation to Panama to promote joint solutions to a common problem helping stabilize and strengthen communities that are hosting migrants and refugees, creating more legal pathways to reinforce safe, orderly, and humane migration, dealing with the root causes of regular migration. Back at the shelter in Panama City, children do arts and crafts to calm their nerves after the terrifying ordeal. Officials say more than a thousand unaccompanied minors crossed the Darien Gap last year and fear that figure may be even larger in 2023.